Hello guys, welcome to Programming Poet. Today we will be discussing about cycle detection algorithms. Let us try to understand the basic reasoning used in construction of this algorithm. Imagine two scenarios. To your left, we have a straight road with an endpoint, and two cars start at the same time, but the red car is faster than the green car. As the road is straight, the faster car never sees the slower car on path before the endpoint. To your right, we have a road that is in a loop, like a racetrack. In this case, the faster car encounters the slower car in path multiple number of times. So in faster car's perspective, if you see the slower car before reaching an endpoint, that means there is no end and the faster car is running in a loop. The algorithm we use in this video is called Floyd Cycle Detection Algorithm, also famously known as Hare and Tortoise Algorithm. Let us see how this can be implemented in a data structure such as a linker list. We make two pointers to traverse through the linker list, looking for an endpoint. A faster pointer that moves two nodes at a time, and a slower pointer that moves one node at a time. Let us try to write pseudocode to implement this algorithm. Detection is a method that accepts a linker list as a parameter and returns a boolean value. True if the list consists of a loop and returns false if there is no loop. So, first of all, let us declare two references, a faster one and a slower one. The faster one is named hair and the slower one is named tortoise. Both point to head or front of the linker list or whatever you call it. Write a loop to traverse the list. Search ends when the hair sees the endpoint, which is null in this case. Tortoise progresses through one step per loop and hair two steps. The if statement is used to avoid a null pointer exception. And at any time if a coincidence occurs, we break out of loop and return true right there. Or if the hair successfully traverses through the entire list and sees an endpoint, then the loop is exited and returns false. Now let us try to simulate this program for two cases. First case without loop. So both hair and tortoise start at the beginning and they start traversing the list. As hair sees the endpoint and therefore exits the loop and returns false, that means it has not seen a loop in this linker list. And second case, with a loop. Both hair and tortoise start at the beginning and position in next loop would be like this. In next loop, next loop, next loop, next loop. In next loop, there is accidents here and the loop is therefore detected and returns true. Now, let us try to calculate the starting point as well as the length of the loop. Let C be the distance from the starting point of the list to start of the loop. L be the length of the loop and K distance from coincidence point to starting point of the loop. Let and T is number of times tortoise had to run in loop before coincidence and H be the number of times hair had to run in the loop before coincidence. Number of steps traveled by tortoise before coincidence will be S which is sum of C number of steps from starting point of the list to start of the loop and T times the loop length to adjust for the steps taken by the tortoise in loop before coincidence and K number of steps taken from the starting point of the loop to the coincidence point. Similarly, number of steps traveled by the tortoise before coincidence will be 2s as for each step taken by the tortoise, hair takes two steps and equation will be similar to the previous one. On solving, we get loop length is equal to c plus k by h minus 2t. It is impossible to evaluate this expression unless we have starting point of the loop as it is impossible to calculate c, t and h values without knowing it. So let us look at the procedure to calculate the starting point of the loop. We know the value of c plus k already as it is the distance from start of the loop to the coincidence point. But from equation 2 we can observe that c plus k, k is a multiple of loop length l. We have to use two tortoises one at starting point and the other with the head start of c plus k steps. If we consider that h minus 2t is equal to 1 as in this case then c plus k is equal to l then c is equal to l minus k. 
similarly even if h minus 2t is equal to 2 in some other case or 3 c plus k evaluates to 2l it is equivalent to l because it will not af affect the effective length from starting point to the coincidence point as both have to travel only c steps and are traversing at same speed they meet at the starting point of the loop we use this to calculate the loop length this is a very useful algorithm and its application extends far beyond linked lists it could be used to identify cyclicity in graphs or cycle length of a pseudo random number generator etc if you have any other questions use the comment section and i will try to answer all of your queries if you if you like this video please subscribe to my channel for more updates see you next time bye